The Jesuits of Canada has named 27 priests and brothers it says are credibly accused of sexually abusing children. CBC News has not independently verified the allegations. On the list is George Epoch, believed to have sexually abused more than 100 children, including Bob Lemieux. What Epoch did to me has ruined much of my life. Epoch died in the 1980s. Only three of the priests named as abusers on the list are still alive. The audit looked at cases dating back 60 years. How many other Jesuits are in the category of allegations that somebody decided weren't credible? In a letter addressed to parishioners, Canadian Jesuit leader Eric Oland says the Catholic Church has been slow to respond to abuse cases. He writes, moving through phases of outright denial, victim blaming and moral incompetence, the church has begun to respond justly. Mothers sent these children to the priest for protection, not knowing the priest was abusing them. It, it was a heartbreak. Some of those priests worked in residential schools and at churches on First Nations. Having this in information out there and publicly available helps helps to build up that truth around the residential school system and its legacies. And what it does now is it sets, sets a, pres, a precedent for other religious orders. Survivors say the church needs to do more. These crimes happened in a systemic way. They allowed men to be present in, at the most vulnerable times in people's lives and children were harmed. The Jesuits have paid more than seven and a half million dollars in settlements to victims of abuse. They acknowledge some priests were never charged or convicted. They say the list can always be added to if new allegations surface. Marina von Stackelberg, CBC News, Ottawa.